I always wanted, right? I always wanted to play pro ball. That was the that was the goal since I was a little kid. So after my my senior year in high school, I thought there might be an opportunity for pitching. Disappointed he didn't get drafted out of high school, but wasn't surprised. Can you have a pie called? All right. Now I'm going on to college. I got an opportunity after my freshman year. I have a not a very good freshman year in college, like 296, one homer. Freshman year, no draft. Sophomore year, thought for sure I was a lock. I was talking with the Braves a lot my sophomore year, and I thought, dang, I'm really going to get a chance with these guys. And no draft. I was just like really shocked. So no big deal. I'm going to ASU now. Big program. Guys drafted every year. No doubt, go go have a good year, you get drafted. So don't get drafted junior year, which I thought I had the numbers again. You know, I thought I was gonna get an opportunity to go play pro ball. And I do think that was his first roadblock of thinking, can I really do this? Not getting drafted and seeing some of the people that get, that get drafted off the board before you do, and it's just like, man, just challenges you, you know? It's like, what more do you gotta do? He had doubts that this is not maybe what he was supposed to be doing. What am I doing wrong, Dad? You're not doing nothing wrong, you know? I'm sorry I'm not 6'5", so that's just the way it is. Cole gets written off a lot just from his size. What makes Cole good is what's inside of him. It's that internal drive that just makes him so much better than your average player. And unfortunately, that's hard for, for scouts, that's hard for coaches to see unless you really get to know them and really get to play with them. Those are things that maybe don't get put down on a chart and stuff, and so nobody would, would give him that shot. And he had a chip on his shoulder, and that's why he went over to the College World Series and tore it up. Hit a grand slam at the College World Series. He, he put on a show in Omaha. He hit two left-handed pitchers from North Carolina, took one of them deep, hit a triple with the bases loaded another time. And he shows up, and all of a sudden, he's the mayor of Omaha. You know, well, we knew he was great all along. If ASU would have won, he would have got the MVP hands down. Well, now I get to my senior year, and it was just like, okay, what are you, what are you gonna do? I mean, I've put all my eggs in this basket, right? And I've got no idea what I'm gonna do afterwards. I was a little bit worried because now he's a senior, he already graduated. He has no other options than to go into the real world. So the ball was actually not in his court. Not getting drafted in my junior year was kind of a blessing in disguise, man, because I got my degree from ASU. I go back for my senior year, get my degree, got something that that nobody can ever take away from me. You know, if there's one thing baseball has given me, it's, it's my college education. The major leagues, they come in all shapes and sizes. you got to prove yourself, you know, and I think this was the transition Cole was making. So when it came to the draft that year, I didn't watch one single thing. And we get towards the eighth round. We have John in our draft room, and he's on me all the time about Cole Calhoun. John was a former Navy SEAL. He did six tours in Nam, and he looked at me, and he says, hey, look, if I'm in a boat, I want Cole Calhoun in the boat with me. And they go, Cole. Eighth round of the Angels, I was just like, yeah! So I was I was pumped, man. I was so stoked. And it was probably the, the best thing we could have done on that particular day because he, he's turned into a heck of a player. I got to call my dad and say, I got drafted. Eighth round, Angels. It's everything you want for your kid. That's all he's wanted was to play in the major league, and he finally had his chance. Cole's always been a little bit of the underdog but he always succeeds, he always comes out on top and I think that's what people love about him is that he doesn't give up.